Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we'll be cooking Gong Pao Tofu. So let's start cooking. Heat up the pan and add in approximately 1 tablespoon of oil. Swirl the oil around. You put in half a thumb size of minced ginger, approximately 3 cloves of garlic chopped, 10 pieces of dried chili, dehydrated and taken out the seeds. This will not be spicy, it will just give you a very nice uh, smoky kind of taste inside there. So just move this around. If the heat is too much, just reduce heat to medium or low. You want the aroma of fragrance to come out. Next, you'll add in half a red onion, sliced like this, into small wedges. Just pour them in. Wow, well, I'm starting to smell it already. It smells so good. Now, if you want it to be spicy, you can actually add in some chili party or small chili or bird sized chili. But I'm trying to make this as kids friendly as possible. Okay, when you can smell the nice fragrances coming out, add in one and a half cup of water. We will also add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Next, we'll add in the firm tofu. I've actually air fried this firm tofu in my air fryer at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. The reason I'm doing so is I really want them to firm up so when I fry them, it won't break open easily. And of course, to get the excess moisture out so they can ex actually absorb all the nice juices over here. So in Hokkien, this firm tofu is also known as Tao Kuan. Now turn up the heat a little. We want the water to be boiling. Put the from tofu in. We are going to braise this. So just keep it boiling and put the lid on and let it braise for approximately 15 minutes. We want all the nice ingredients, the juices the, from the sauce to actually get into the tofu. So instead of 15 minutes, I'm just bracing it for 10 minutes because um, my flame on my stove is actually pretty big and my sauce is drying up. So yeah, this will be just nice. So now I'll add the rest of the ingredients, half a teaspoon of sugar, the white stock part from the one stock of spring onion, half of a bell pepper, one and a half teaspoon of black vinegar. Let's just give this a good stir. Right. Now we will thicken it up a little bit. Just a little bit will do. I'm just using cornstarch solution over here so that everything will be nice. A quarter of a cup of peanut, roasted peanuts. You can use cashew nuts if you, are, if you want to do it, no problem. The green part of a one stalk of spring onion, put it in. And now just to finish it up, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine as well as half a tablespoon of sesame seed oil. This will be so good. Okay, time to serve this. Now that the cooking is done, it's time to enjoy this dish. Mm. The smokiness from the dry chili, a little bit of spice, sweetness that you can feel, but it's nice. A little bit sweet, sourish, and a little bit of spiciness. Goes very well with rice. Mm. This is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our dish. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.